Why are you on Parliament Hill? Why wouldn't I be? This is democracy. This is what democracy is all about. People believe that the government has overstepped with mandates and they are here to exercise their democratic right. We give, people give the government the power to act in accordance with their values. The, gov does not, the government does not have any independent power. It is us that confer the power on the government. And where they overstep, the people have a right to voice their opinions. What we've seen in the last year with demonization of people, turning people against each other, the hatred that has been spewed from the highest levels is completely unacceptable. And the people have had enough. And so they're here to voice their opinions. And I support any peaceful uh, act of democracy. And all I've seen here is loving, law-abiding Canadians expressing their voice, which they're entitled to do. So why wouldn't I be here, Andrew? Do you feel like the Conservatives have done an adequate job at representing these people throughout the pandemic in the last couple of years, or even in the time that you've been in office the last few months? Well, I've always spoken out. You've seen that I've always spoken out from the very beginning about things that concerned my constituents. I will always be a voice for my constituents, and I will never be silent. So I believe that that MPs have said and acted in accordance with the voices of their constituents, yes. For a lot of people, this is not about whether you're pro or anti-vaccination. It's about a more fundamental message, which is about government overreach. Is that resonating with what you're hearing from your constituents on the ground? Absolutely. There are, whether you're vaccinated or not vaccinated, it's about the mandates and whether or not these mandates are fair, whether they... Um, they adhere to a public health principle because that's what we're concerned about. We want everybody to be safe. We want people who are able to be vaccinated to ex exercise informed consent. That's what, that's what we're concerned about. So it's not about whether you're vaccinated or not vaccinated. It's about government overreach. But thank you for your time, Andrew. Thank you. Okay, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much.